Hey, what's up, YouTube? Your boy Chris. I'm out in the Caliente Garage. I want to show you guys an addition that I picked up for my 2021 Honda Goldwing Tour. As I pan the camera to the right, behind the Goldwing, you will see a brand new 2021 Escapade Elite trailer that I picked up from Heartland Honda. The salesman name was Cody Edmondson out there at Heartland Honda. He actually helped me work the deal on this new 2021 Escapade Elite trailer. And man, it is matching beautifully. I mean, down to the gray stripe that they put on the new Gold Wing. The same gray stripe on the 21 Escapade Elite trailer. And man, it is absolutely beautiful. I just picked this thing up. Um, I'm going to be working on the trailer wiring, getting it uh, installed here in a moment. But I just want to show you guys my new 21 Honda Goldwing. And I will be from time to time pulling the 2021 Escapade Elite trailer. And man, it is beautiful. Just want to give you guys a quick look at some of the things that it came with. It's got a chrome swivel hitch on it. Man, I mean, never been never been pulled absolutely brand new got the chrome tongue got a brand new cooler with the uh, cooler cover even got a tag on this thing still new got the bra on the front it's got the two-tone paint scheme absolutely beautiful man looking down the side look at that even got the chrome wheels on it. Got the chrome Escapade wheels on it. Got the chrome trimming on it. Looking at the interior. Underneath a spot for a spare. And a brand new spare tire underneath. Absolutely beautiful. Double pockets. Fully carpeted. It even has a light. Up here, we need to get connected and just kind of glancing at the back. It's got some chrome around the tail lights, chrome license plate holder. There's my baby. There's my 2016. Yeah, I see you, baby. Look at that. The Can Am 622. And we still got the the new 21. Now, the connector that I have on my gold wing is a six pin square. The connector that's on this Escapade trailer looks like a rectangle. I'm not sure. It's six pins. I'm sure one is an accessory. But uh, I need to take this connector off. I'm going to be installing the six pin square so I can connect it to the gold wing. So stay tuned to this video and I'm going to show you guys how I install the six pin square to my new Escapade trailer. So normally how I um, determine which wires are which because you can't always go by the color code. Keep that in mind. Now, most likely the color code on here is correct, but you can't always go by the color code. So some of the things that I will be using, normally I will be using a 12 volt circuit tester. So anytime you're doing electrical work, always use your, always use a 12 volt circuit tester if you're not 100% certain which wires are which. So 12 volt circuit tester, I have my six pin square. And also I'm going to be using this Uwasa battery, the same battery that I took out to 21. I'm going to be using this battery to verify the connecting ends on the trailer. So, also I got a couple of wires with alligator clips, some test connectors. So, normally how we're going to do this. Now, normally, if you're going by colors, which you can't always go by colors, normally the covered one is the ground. So it looks like the white would be 
the ground in this case, but you can't go by the connectors or the colors. You got to verify. So how do I verify? Well, since I'm assuming that the one that's covered is ground. Okay, I'm assume that it's ground. So we're going to mark this black one as the ground. We're going to hook up the ground on the battery. Next, we're going to connect. Let's go with the tail lights. So tail lights is normally brown. So it looks like the second one here is brown. So let's assume you want to make sure you only touch one connector at a time. Now you got a couple ways that you can do this. The best way is just cut the end off and splice the wires. It'll make it a little bit more easier. So, so to make this simple, we're gonna just we're gonna just cut this end off. Um, I can save this plug later. It may come in handy later. So, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this plug off. Just cut it off. Just remove it. I'll save this. Put this in a toolbox. Um, somebody may have a trailer later that needs this connector. So I'm gonna save this. Next, next thing I want to do is open. It's got some kind of heat strength wrap on it. I just want to open it up. Being careful not to cut the wires. So I can just get some of this. Just want to make sure that you don't cut the wires. Just take your time. I want to expose. This appears to be some type of heat strength that they put on from Escapade. And I'm going to peel back just enough to expose the wires. That should be enough. I'm going to cut away some of the excess. So you're looking at one, two, three four, five, six wires. I'm going to cut away. Next, I'm going to splice these wires. So normally white is the ground. So we're going to expose the white. And I'm going to verify the tail lights. Normally brown is your tail lights, but remember you can't always go by the color code. You have to verify. And how do you verify? You use a circuit tester, but for my video, we're not going to be using a circuit tester. So white is normally ground. So what we're going to do, we're going to hook the black to the, which is the ground from the battery. You don't want those ends to touch. I'm going to connect to the brown and let's see if the tail lights turn on. Here we go. And we're just verifying that these are tail lights. Now, just going to peel back all the wires. So you want to keep each one separated. Make sure they don't touch. Now I'm going to verify the right turn. Normally green is right. So let's check and see if right turn comes on. Okay. So green is right. Normally left is yellow. Let's check to see if this is, is the left turn. Okay, that's correct. Now, let's see, red may be an accessory. Let's find out. Red actually may be the brake. So green is right turn. Yellow 
his left turn, brakes is, looks like red is brakes, brown is your tail lights, so black must be the accessory light. So let's verify that the accessory light comes on inside of the trailer. So once again, yellow, left turn, green, right turn, brown, tail lights, black would be the light inside of the trailer, the accessory wire, and red is your brake lights. So you can't always go by the colors because everybody doesn't follow everybody doesn't follow the color you have to verify but if you don't have a battery i generally keep a battery around the garage to do tests like this this is one of the reasons why i didn't mind buying an additional battery for the gold wing because i will use the extra battery for other things But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expose some of the wires. Just going to expose them. So we can speed up the process. Now this is a six wire. And the good thing about this trailer is that it's six wires. If you have four wires, then you would need a five to a four converter. So for this installation, I'm going to be using these strength wrap connectors. I have a large and I have a smaller size. We're going to be using those to connect the ends to the plug. So first one I'm going to hook up. It doesn't really matter which one you hook up first. Not sure if this, I just want to verify if this is going to be the right size. We may can get away with the blue connectors. So looking at these connectors, one end is wider than the other end. So the, the wide end would be when I push down, it needs to be on the end where I push down. So I'm going to put the narrow end through the connector, slide it all the way through like so. And just so I don't forget, I'm going to go ahead because you'll find yourself forgetting to put on a connector. So I'm going to take the tightest end or the smallest end. I'm just going to feed them all the way down the wire like so. We go ahead and get everything ready. Taking the smaller end, just pushing it down. That way I don't forget. You'll be surprised. Sometimes you'll get these things wired up and realize that you didn't put a connector on there. I'm just gonna slide it down like so. Same for the, so I wanna make sure I got a connector on each one. Put this one on the left turn, which is the yellow. Like I said, you can do it one at a time, but I find myself sometimes forgetting to put the connectors on the wires. So I'm gonna set that to the side. And these connectors work great. I will put a link in the description of the video where you guys can pick up some of these connectors. So now I'm gonna take my white one. It doesn't matter which color you start out with. I'm gonna take the white. I'm just going to tie my white to the white because I already know that white is ground. If you don't know the, the colors, you need to verify. And I'm, I'm going to put the fat end toward the smaller end in this particular application. And now I can slide that butt connector down. And now I can 
heat up that buck, heat up that strength wrap. Now, some guys like to use a heat gun. A heat gun works great. I just like to use um, flames or use a flame because it heats it up faster. But a heat gun, if you don't have a lighter, a heat gun will work just as fine, just as good. So next I'm gonna take my right turn, which is the green. I'm gonna peel that back just a little bit more. And I'm gonna lay that toward the smaller end that way that butt connector will slide directly on there slide it on there now I can take my lighter and just light it up and like I say some people say well I use a a heat gun a heat gun works fine just long as it's heat I like to use a flame and get that airtight seal there's nothing wrong with using a heat gun. A heat gun works fine, but it's just faster when I use a flame. Okay? So now we got green to green, which that's my right turn. Now, let's go with the left turn, which would be yellow. And I can't overemphasize this, but always verify your colors. Some guys will call me, because I tried to hook it up, and it's not working. I said, well, did you use a... 12 volt circuit tester well no I didn't use a 12 volt circuit well that's why you got to use a 12 volt circuit tester to verify the colors or to verify the corresponding wire because you can't always go by the colors now for my application since I wired the bike up myself I know which colors are which I've been doing this for a long time once I verify the colors are correct then I'll put some protection over the wires. So I'm gonna plug in on the bike and verify that everything is correct. And now I can turn on the bike, go through the test and make sure that everything is connected properly. I'm gonna turn on the bike when I just turned on the bike, the tail light should have came on. Okay, so now we're gonna go, I verified that the tail lights are on. Next, I'm gonna go to the left turn. I'm gonna go right turn. I'm gonna hit the brakes. Just going to double wrap it all the way down just to protect the wires from the elements and the ultraviolet lights. And I'll come back and put some plastic loom over this wires to protect the outer part of the, the wires. So next I can hook up the trailer to the gold wing. Let's see if it... Lock that down. Connect my safety chains. And when you're hooking up safety chains, you want to cross them in an X pattern. If they're hanging too low, you can even put a couple more wraps on it. So now I have it all connected. Next, I can put a lock on the coupler to prevent the trailer from coming loose in case I hit a hard bump. So always put a lock of some sort, put something in there because you don't want that, that coupler coming loose. So, so I just want to give you guys a quick look at my new 21 Honda Goldwing pulling the Escapade trailer, the 2021 Escapade Elite trailer that I picked up. What do you guys think? Drop a comment down in the comment section below. If you liked this video, be sure to click the like button. 
If you haven't already, be sure to sign up for the Chris Caliente Facebook group, the hottest Facebook group in the land. And be sure to hit that bell notification. It'll notify you every time I post a new video. This is your boy, Chris, and I've just installed the trailer wiring connector for my new 21 Escapade Elite Trailer. And I love the way everything turned out. And I will, as always, I will talk to you guys later. See you.